I think Barry Gordy discovered them at a, a step. I think I gave them an opportunity on my television specials to be introduced for the first to the American audience. And they were really young then. And they came so, and lived with you, too, didn't they? Yeah, I had a place in California, yeah. and they were moving from uh, their home into California, so they stayed with me for a while. My, um, you know, Michael and I, we're in love, and there's nothing <laughs> to do about it. There's nothing to say. What exactly went on between Diana Ross and Michael Jackson? I think this was a twisted, toxic, but beautiful love story. Barry Gordy, he finds this group called the Jackson Five, and he signs them. Only when they moved from Indiana to California, they didn't have anywhere to go. So at that time, he asked his good friend, ex-girlfriend, Diana Ross, if she would take them in for a while. I do think that this entire thing started out very innocent and that Diana, she would often say she was a mother figure to Michael. Is Michael Jackson somewhere out there? Is he out there? Where is he? There he is, that's my child. And then it got a little bit toxic because Michael would later, as he got older, he started getting surgeries that kind of mimic Diana's. And I think throughout this whole time, we see that Michael has mommy and daddy issues. And I think he really, at this moment, wanted Diana to be his mother. And so he wanted to look like her biological child of my family yes uh we have a lot of the same bone structure and yeah. a lot of uh, skin well color michael does same. now because he's had it all done <laughs> I you take that as you a compliment? You cannot. I refuse you to insult Michael. He's a friend of mine. Yeah. I love him. Yeah. And I don't like people making fun no, of him. No, no, but he, we are... In Michael's book, he would describe Diana as his mother, lover, and sister friend. And I thought that was very touching because it plays out in exactly that way order she starts out 1969 moving in and she becomes this mother figure to michael and then later in life in the 70s she gets michael a role on the whiz at this point there were whispers about michael calling diana to his room diana goes and she stays the entire night and then she comes back to the production she makes a comment to one of the girls on the set and she says i know for sure that michael is not gay and then so that person goes to michael and they're like oh my gosh did something happen between you and diana and michael's all like mm, ask her about that jermaine michael's brother has confirmed that nothing happened until michael became of age with diana ross with the wiz he always had this admiration for Diana Ross when she was young. And um, and I think it got to a point where he really loved her and he really liked her, still to this day. And she was just this, this dream for him. And he had this ongoing, just a fascination for her. He loved her. Because a lot of people were kind of looking at Diana with the side eye. They start an intimate relationship. But I didn't know, what I didn't know is that you were gonna get so sexy. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. <laughs> well, I always knew you would. Well, be sexy. <laughs> and they're having rendezvous and he's so in love with her he proposes to her he gives her a ring she's photographed with this ring she's photographed kissing him and holding his face and then they start to get backlash so people are calling her a cradle robber and, and there's only whispers nobody has ever confirmed neither michael or diana have ever confirmed that they were an item but with the whispers, Diana's kind of like, uh, you know, homegirl has always been about her career. So it's like, why would she change now? She dumps Michael, tell him like, yo, look, I just want to be friends. This has gone too far. And then the next year she starts dating and gets married to Arne Nash Jr. When Diana Ross gets married, Michael is bitter. He is very jealous because he proposed to Diana twice. And twice she says yes. The first time she says yes, and then she backs off. And then she says yes, and then she breaks up with him. And then next thing you know, bada boom, bada bang, she's getting married. He refused to go to her wedding. He was supposed to actually come and perform. I guess she thought that like she was gonna 
talk him into this. I don't know, but he was like, nope, no thank you. Diana gets pregnant. And this is where we see Michael drop the infamous record, Dirty Diana. And he talks about how she will sleep with anybody that's going to help elevate her career. I mean, he was bitter. Eventually, they reconcile. They become distant friends. Like, Michael, he's like, no, I don't want to do this back and forth thing with you anymore. And so he kind of cuts it off and they become distant friends. And then we see Michael truly start to live his life. Let me know what you guys think about this love story in the comments below. Do you agree with it? Do you feel like they would have been able to live their truth in 2022? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Daisha Shakila. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.